Hi everybody, um, I, today I want to talk about something that annoys me on forums and the internet in general. And that is doing drawing pictures of a double rainbow and, and drawing it wrong. Uh, double rainbows don't work like that. You, you can't just do a rainbow and then a second rainbow over the top. The second rainbow has to be dimmer and its colours have to be reversed. That's how they work. You can't just add sparkle and a second rainbow over the top of it. And to explain how this works, I think I'm going to have to use the, the whiteboard. But I hope to clear up this injustice once and for all. So, okay, here we go. Okay, so to understand how a double rainbow works, first we're going to have to understand how a single rainbow works. I'm sure we're all familiar with the rainbow situation. The sun's here, you're there, you're facing away from the sun. And you see the rainbow in the sky, red on top blue on the bottom, this nice arc of a circle hanging in the sky. Very nice, but then how does that form? Well, if I can just destroy these fairy tears for a second here, there will be spherical water droplets in the air after it's rained. That's why they're called rainbows, because they occur after rain. And the light beam will come in, like here, it will break up into its constituent colours because it's a dispersive medium and it will bounce off the back wall and come out of the water droplet broken up into its different colours just like the prism that we see on the front of the dark side of the moon so that's the single rainbow, light comes in and the red light is aimed downwards so it's going to have to be higher up in order to meet your eyes. The blue light is aimed higher up, so it's going to have to be further down in order to meet your eyes, which is why the blue is on the bottom of a rainbow and the red is on the top. And all the colours in between aim at different angles and all the colours beyond do as well. So that's the single rainbow. I'll just rub the whole thing off and then I'll redraw the sphere. This is the double rainbow. So if you remember from last time we had the water droplet being hit on the top of its top side. This time the light comes in in the bottom section. Then what happens is the blue light splits and goes here, and the red light splits and goes there. They bounce and cross and we get that situation there. And then they bounce and cross again So we're like that, and the red leaves at the top, and the blue leaves at the bottom. So what we have now is the red light aiming higher than the blue light. So the red light has to be lower down in the sky in order to meet your eyes, and the blue light has to be coming from water droplets higher up in the sky to meet your eyes. Which is why on the secondary rainbow, the blue is on the top and the red is on the bottom. Now to explain why they're dimmer, well, as you can see there's two bounces, and in each of these bounces there'll be some light lost coming out. So that's why it's dimmer, because there's energy and light lost when it bounces off the inside, and also they sort of lose their amplitude as they travel through the water itself. And then once they leave the water droplet, uh, they're in reverse order. So that's how a double rainbow works. Thank you for listening, and never draw a double rainbow wrong again, please. Single rainbow, colours the normal way, red on top. Double rainbow, colours the opposite to how they should be, with the blue on top. Thank you very much.